The African continent is developing rapidly. And I've come along to the South Africa stand at this year's EIBTM to talk to the South African Minister for Tourism to find out how that competition is affecting the country and how important business meetings events are to the economy overall. Thank you very much for talking to us uh, and on this fantastic stand. Um, with respect to the development of Africa overall, how important is that to South Africa as a tourism destination? It's very important that we do not only market our individual countries, but obviously the continent as a whole, because we strongly believe in the concept of co-opetition. Yes, there's always a degree of healthy competition, but we should cooperate as a continent. And nowadays, obviously, the trend is that people, when they visit a region, they want to visit more than one country. And of course, you're positioning yourself as the gateway um, to Africa, particularly the area of Africa that surrounds South Africa itself. How's that going? Is it something that you, you're really promoting at the moment? We're not promoting that actively, but obviously everybody knows that South Africa has the air connectivity. And everybody knows that when people visit a region, the Southern African region, obviously South Africa will be one of the countries on the list. But we've done quite a lot over the last few years to improve uh, cooperation in the region, to make sure that once people reach South Africa, there's much better connectivity, uh, but also to start upgrading the quality of our products. That's very important because people want to know, wherever they are in the world, when they make a booking in a South African hotel, three or four star really means that, but also if they do a booking in a neighboring country, the same applies. And of course, uh, we, you mentioned um, you know, the, the healthy competition earlier. Um, is South Africa really rising to that challenge? And do you think that it's going to really mean that the facilities on the ground are going to respond? South Africa is rising to the challenge. We've done extremely well over the last few years. Year after year, for the last four or five years, double-digit growth for South Africa. Last year, over 10%. That's more than double the global average. And we are achieving those kind of growth rates because we have decided a few years ago to diversify our products. Yes, we will always be what has historically been known traditionally as a safari destination, but we have so much more to offer nowadays. New lifestyle products, uh, cultural and heritage products, but also business uh, tourism, conventions, conferences. And we have absolutely state-of-the-art facilities, and that's what we need to continue to climb that ladder. And give us an idea how important that sector is to the South African economy. Tourism is the fastest growing sector of our economy at the moment, so it is really going well. It contributes uh, just over 9% directly and indirectly to our GDP. And we know that South Africa has been known as a mining country. And of course, we will continue to be that. But tourism now is providing more jobs, our sector, than the mining sector. Four and a half percent of the total, la total labor force comes from our sector. So um, we are proving that it is a key part of our economy with the ability, the, the potential to create jobs for our people. And what businesses are looking for when they hold events in a country like South Africa is to make sure that the, uh, the, the wealth that's now being created is being spread across the population. Is this something you're working actively to, uh, to address as well? Yes, we understand the social component of tourism, incredibly important, especially in a developing country. We understand the risk, and we've seen it in other parts of the world, where there are islands of affluence, of wealth, within seas of poverty. And therefore, we have special efforts, initiatives, to make sure that we spread the wealth. Around our national parks, it's important that those communities are part of it, and we can still do much more. We don't have the perfect final solution. But that social dimension is a crucial part of tourism in developing countries, and specifically on the African continent. And finally, um, there are a, a lots of uh, uh, countries developing globally now. Which key markets is, uh, is South Africa really tapping into? Well, we continue to rely on our traditional markets, Europe, the US, and for a long time the per capita spend from those markets will still be higher, much higher, than from the new emerging markets and from the African continent, with a few exceptions. Nowadays, in our case, Angolan tourists are spending more per capita than American tourists, but that is the exception. The general rule is still what it always was. But the new emerging markets, for, like for everybody else, China, India, other Asian countries, it's rising extremely fast. Four years ago, China was still our market number nine. It's now market number four for us. So we have to adjust. We're working on air connectivity all the time and all the other considerations for people for the new markets when they visit South Africa. That's great. Lovely talking to you and I wish South Africa a good show. Thank you. This EIBTM is always a great show for us. We write a lot of business here and it's great to be back. Thank you very much. Thank you.